are tracking red tide as it flows further north up to the Bay Area coast. I know it's not exactly what you want to hear. Now there is a massive effort though to clean up our beloved beaches. ABC Action News anchor Lauren St. Germain joins us live now from Holmes Beach where they're really seeing the impacts of red tide. Lauren, authorities are trying to make it easy for people to get involved and help clean up the place. Yeah, James and Dia, we're seeing devastating images out here, so authorities are really make, trying to make it easy. They're putting out trash cans just like this. They say red tide debris on them. This is where they want you to put all of the red tide waste in. Guys, right now our beaches just really need our help. Yesterday was the first big cleanup. You're seeing some of that video right now. Close to 20 people came and just got the fish off the beach. The city will give you gloves, a mask, a trash grabber if you want to come help. Now, the most recent map from the FWC does not include managed County, but we know that the red tide is now here. We do expect the FWC to update us on how far north they're tracking red tide into the Bay Area at some point this afternoon. We're all kind of concerned that it could get into Pinellas County. So as soon as we learn more information, we'll bring it to you on our free ABC Action News mobile app.